Informatica Global Customer Support How to create data objects and profiles from Informatica Analyst Tool in Power Center 901. In this multimedia knowledge base, you will learn the following. How to create a data object flat file. How to profile a data object. And how to analyze the profile results and apply analyst expression rule. Data objects represent the metadata sources from which you extract metadata to analyze in the analyst tool project. You can import data objects such as tables and flat files to analyze the structure of the data in a project. You can create a profile for a data object to analyze data quality based on the content and structure of data. A rule is a business logic that defines conditions applied to data when you run a profile. Using profiles, you can do the following. You can analyze the structure, content, and anomalies present in the data and then apply or create data rules to cleanse and standardize the data. You can create scorecards before and after data standardization. You can create a profile for tables and flat files. You can create an expression rule, or apply a predefined rule to a profile to modify the data in the profile columns. You can make a rule reusable, to use it within other profiles. You can run a profile, to analyze the profile results, and drill down to find the underlying rows, for the values, and patterns in the profile results. You can add comments to a profile, to share information about the profile with other analyst tool users. To create data objects and profiles, first log into Informatica Analyst Tool, using your username and password. Creating Data Object Flat Files On the Analyst Tool home page, to create a new project for the data object, click Actions. And, select New Project. In the New Project dialog, provide a name for the project. And click OK. Now, to create a flat file data object for this project, click on the new flat file icon. To import a flat file, Click Browse, Against Browse and Upload option. Or, select, Enter a Network Path option, to upload files from a shared location. Click Next. In the Configure Delimited Format Properties dialog, select a delimiter, such as comma. If the flat file has column names in the first row, then select, Import from First Line, Invalid characters will be skipped, option. Click Show, to view the updated preview of the data that is imported. And click Next. In the optionally change the column attributes to match more precisely what is being displayed in the preview step, you can preview up to 100 rows of data in the file that is uploaded. You can also change the column attributes. For instance, change the data type of the field customer ID from string, to integer, and the precision value, from 6 to 10. And click Next. Then, provide a name for the created flat file. And click Finish. Creating Data Profiles. To profile the data, select the data source, customers, from the project. And, click on the Create a Profile icon. In the New Profile dialog, if you want to profile all the columns, select Quick Profile. However, if you want to customize the settings of the New Profile, click Custom Profile. Click Next. In the next step, provide a name for the profile. Provide a description. Click Next. Select the profile, and the folder, where the profile has to be saved. And click Next. Then. Select the object that has to be profiled. The columns of the corresponding object will be displayed. Select the columns to be profiled. Select the sampling options, such as all rows. Select the drill down options. Here, use drill down on live data. Click on select columns, 
if you want to drill down particular columns. And, click on Save and Run. Analyzing Profile Results When you save and run the profile, the profile object is displayed in a new tab. To view the profiling results, click on a column name, such as Last Order Date, within Profile Results. You can view the profiling details, from the Values tab, from the Patterns tab, and the Statistics tab. Back in the Patterns tab, to view the drilled down values of Null, click Null. The details will be displayed in Drill Down section. From the Values tab, right click on a value, and select, Show Matching Rows. The details will be displayed in the Drill Down section. To view the properties of this profile, click on Properties button. To view the preview of the data, click on Data Preview button. Adding, and analyzing, the Analyst Expression Rules. To add a rule, click on Add Rules icon from the Column Profiling tab. To use an existing reusable rule, click on Apply a Rule, in the New Rule window under Select the Type of the Rule. And, to create a new rule, click Create a Rule. Click Next. Provide a name and description, for the rule. Specify a rule, for the profile, under Expressions section. And click Validate, to validate the rule. Click Next. A new rule-based output column, will be created. Click Save and Run. Select. The Format Date Rule Virtual Column, in Profile Results. The Value Frequency will display the results, depending on the rule. Now, to view the Pattern Analysis, go to the Pattern tab. Right-click on Null. And select Show Matching Rows. The results are displayed in the Drill Down window. Now, click on Last Order Date Column in Profile Results. In the Patterns tab, some invalid date formats might be displayed. Right-click on an invalid date format and select Show Matching Rows. The column's last order date and format date rule are displayed in the Drill Down section. To compare the results of these columns, drag and drop them next to each other. To edit a rule, Right-click on the column, such as Format Date Rule, under the Profile Results, and select Edit. Select the Save as Reusable Rule in, option to make the rule reusable. Select the folder, in which the rule is to be saved. And click Save. To add or share more information about this profile, Click on Show Comments icon. After entering the comments, click Add. The comments will be added. In this multimedia knowledge base article, you have learned How to create a data object flat file How to profile a data object How to analyze profiling results and how to apply and analyze analyst expression rules. If you have any feedback on this multimedia knowledge base, please email your comments to kb underscore feedback at informatica.com. Thank you.